Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. My name is Shazad Hussain and I live at 20 Primary Way in Underclough, Bradford. And today is today is the 20th Wednesday, the 25th of October, 2023. And the time is, I think, about 20 to 20 to 6. I need to start making these recordings a little bit earlier because it's getting to be quite dark now. But anyway, today is day 78. I believe day 78 since I last saw my brother it's been 78 days since the 8th of August and I have absolutely no idea where my brother is um, he was abducted by the state I was arrested my brother was abducted by the state every single day I leave a message for them to get back to me to explain to me exactly what legal framework they've used in order to take my brother but they're refusing to engage with me because they know they're at fault they know that they're liars and every day I continue to, you know, rage against the system. Rage against the system in order to find some resolution to the predicament that I'm now finding myself in. So, um, I've been quite optimistic today because I've had uh, some court hearings. I've been dealing with some judges, nefarious judges that are uh, looking to be having their services commissioned out by the local authority. In order to, uh, uh, in order to further vilify me, and uh, I've just been dealing with the courts and tribunal services uh, today, who are not looking to answer my questions. Uh, I'm asking some simple, basic, simple questions. Uh, they're telling me now that the recordings of the hearing on the 18th of July before District Judge Mitchell has now gone got faulty. It's just one lie after another. This just, it just, you know, becomes deplorable after a while that the courts and tribunal services are not either fit for purpose. Or more importantly, they are commissioning out their services to the local authority to cover up their own failures and uh, failures and uh, um, cover up their own cover up their own failures and uh, um, uh, uh, malevolences. Uh, and as a consequence, me and my family are suffering. Today has been a personally on a, it's been a slightly a bit more optimistic day today. Um, I've been slightly optimistic. I've got some bird cage cleaning done today. And obviously I want to get back to normality, I want my brother back uh, in my care and obviously the local authority are not going to do that uh, simply because they're refusing to answer my questions so it's just very very tiresome having to go through the same day I'm living like in a groundhog day, every single day is the same asking them to tell me where my brother is, tell me, tell me what legal frameworks that you've used you know I have certain basic rights, my brother has certain basic rights you're violating our human rights, what are you doing? Tell us, just give us some information. And their attitude is basically, well, we've taken him. There's nothing you can do about it because any any move that you make, we've got the, you know, the Orwellian pigs, uh, the dogs, the police to come and attack you. Uh, alternatively, we've got the courts and judges in our pockets. They'll do exactly what we tell them to do because all we're all we're really about is lying, cheating, and manipulating, stealing from the public purse, and they're doing as we please. Now. Obviously, most of these things that are happening to me, no doubt, inevitably, it's not just the case that, you know, there's just one bad person. Uh, the whole institution, if they're targeting me, do you think they're not going to be targeting other people? Why are they targeting me? Because I look to expose the fraud and corruption alone. That can't be the sole, sole reason. They're falling apart and uh, they're trying to keep up face for what they've been doing. And the reality is that they've got a deficit, that they can't do what they're supposed to be doing. And so what they resort to is lying and manipulating the truth and that's what it comes down to they're not able to do what they're supposed to be doing and so they're now lying and cheating and manipulating the truth in order to uh, get an advantage or uh, to keep us sustaining their status quo and in indefinitely no doubt uh, the, the, it's going to all fall apart sooner or later it's going to be exposed and inshallah Allah willing I'll expose these liars and crooks for the, what they're doing to my family particularly my vulnerable brother Talib who will no doubt 78 days later I just can't imagine what kind of mental torture he must be going through how exactly is the local authority acting in my brother's best interest promoting his health and well-being by you know, to, to having him kidnapped and held in private custody like this no, you know no doubt he's, he, his voice is not being heard right now is it so um, yeah it's just very frustrating because of what the lies they tell you and the reality is very different and uh, you know they're dealing with someone like myself who's not going to give up who never gives up i'm an educated man and uh, you know obviously i can i can look to argue with them and i'm just thinking you know someone like my siblings 
but particularly Talib and my sister in Oldham who don't speak English, they're just going to be given the run around, aren't they? They're just going to be taught that, that they can just be taught taken advantage of. So, yeah, I mean, it's just been another another day fighting in the system, but at least, as long as I'm fighting, I mean, obviously the main issue now is the, the police bail conditions that I'm looking to answer next week. After that, I'll see what happens and uh, I'll take it from there. Okay. So um, I'll take it from there, see what happens uh, next week when I'm uh, back at the police station to find out exactly what where I stand. But as it presently stands, I'm still in high spirits. Um, I've written back to the ICO, who, whom I'm also taking to the first tier tribunal. I've uh, got several court cases ongoing. I'm just fighting on as much as I can. Um, it just seems that, uh, you know, I'm facing a, you know, a completely impossible situation but I've may faced some possible situations before as long as I'm alive and I've got strength in me I'll continue to fight the good fight but I'm not suicidal and I'm not gonna go kill myself so if I die under unusual circumstances it's most definitely gonna be the local authority whom are uh, exploiting whom are whom are looking to uh, do me in so we'll just leave it there for time being just pretty much the same same as usual, just continuing to carry on, uh, carrying on regardless, uh, being patient and persevering in order to get an adv in order to see what happens next. I think I'll leave it there.